Over the past 12 months, our NASCAR k and Pro Series East champion, he never stopped learning. He bounced between his last year in the classroom to his first year on the racetrack, from pencils to pedals, and you might say from A grades to A frames. And no matter what the test, he proved a quick study. The resulting success in all facets earned him passing marks, a NASCAR championship, and now a full-time ride in the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series. I remember being at the banquet last year just thinking about maybe being up on the stage. So to get that opportunity is, is awesome for me. I was six years old and I went to my first race at Martinsville Speedway, uh, watched the Cup guys race and just kind of grew a love for the sport from there. It was so cool, especially watching a short track race like that. And went to my dad when I was 15 years old and asked him if I could race a real car for the first time and got into the legend cars at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Everything took off from there. When I got in that can in race, there were so many different challenges I had to deal with. They're ready to get it started here at Greenville Pickens Speedway in the K&N Pro Series. It's the second race of the year and we were able to get a win. It just kind of proved to myself that I could do this and that I could compete for wins. Our goal kind of changed halfway through the season. We got a few wins. We realized we could win a championship. Here's a points leader, William Byron. He's had a fantastic season up until now. Columbus Speedway, I, I don't think I did my job in the race as best as I could. And so I remember getting out of the car and the first thing I said was that I, I would make it up to the team. That was one of those feelings where I feel like for the first time I kind of lost focus for a second and when I got the focus back, I appreciated it that much more. William Byron will win again. We were able to go to the next race and, and win New Hampshire. Kept working hard, kept our heads up each time we went to the track. I had never been to Dover, never been to the racetrack. I knew whatever the result was of the race, um, we had already accomplished so much. To go out there and have no practice and make your first lap around that fast of a racetrack in the lead, we had a lot to accomplish, so we wanted to lead the race. I felt like that was the safest place for us to be. Race conservatively and, and race within what we can do uh, to accomplish our goal of the championship. William Byron is going to be your 2015 champion. And what a deserving championship. Four wins in the season, the most of any driver in the series. But when you win the championship, it's, it's kind of like you can look back on the whole year and know that basically you're the best team throughout. It's been really cool following in the footsteps of Ben Rhodes and Dylan Kwasniewski. Carry along the tradition at H. Scott Motorsports with Justin Marks is, um, is really cool for me. Getting a Canon Series championship, it feels cool. It's cool to see the hard work pay off. Please welcome driver of the number nine Liberty University Chevrolet from Charlotte, North Carolina, William Byron. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for having me on campus today. It's pretty awesome. Uh, I've been to the Vine Center a few times for convocation and uh, to see this big a crowd and uh, to be here speaking is, is pretty awesome. I couldn't imagine uh, being up here a couple months ago. So it's, it's amazing uh, to have you guys support. Um, you know, it's exciting to see the enthusiasm on campus. A couple years ago, uh, when I was first coming to Liberty um, to work out a sponsorship and talk to them about a uh, partnership over the next couple years, it was cool to see the excitement from, from all the different students and um, just, I walked through the library the first time and uh, to see how modern it was and, you know, it's just amazing. It's pretty cool, uh, pretty cool college campus. So. Um, also, they have a Dunkin' Donuts. I saw that last night. I was walking around campus. I was like, that's pretty cool. I gotta have to get some donuts when I come here in the fall. <laughs> um, in the couple minutes I have, uh, I just wanted to, uh, to give you guys a few thoughts to think about and uh, tell you guys about uh, the upcoming race we have. So from the video, uh, you could see that we uh, won the championship last year, which is really an amazing opportunity for me to to spread, um, spread my faith and, and talk about Liberty as we went to each different racetrack throughout the year. Uh, we, we raced all over the country so we could, you know, we were able to meet new race fans and, and a lot of people that were graduates from Liberty and um, meet new ones each week. So it's, a, it's really a cool thing to have Liberty support and it, it definitely makes us unique. 
Um, it's also, now that I'm a senior in high school, next year I'll be attending here uh, this fall. So it's pretty cool. <laughs> so I'm really excited about that. Um, I get to get to meet some of you guys next year and um, d definitely finishing up uh, what I have in, in high school and look forward to, uh, to coming here next year. I've taken a couple online classes, so I'm really looking forward to it. Um, so some of you guys may be wondering what it's like to race a car or, or you know, how fast do we go, do I get in wrecks sometimes, some of that stuff. Um, first of all, we, we go about 190 miles an hour on any given weekend, so, uh, so it's pretty cool. Um, we, uh, we travel to all different racetracks. We go to Daytona um, in Florida, uh, Dover in Delaware. Um, we go to Charlotte Motor Speedway, my home track. <laughs> and, uh, and we also go to Martinsville, which is just down the road. <laughs> so that's, that's the next thing we have coming up is uh, we have a race just an hour and a half from here. Um, love for you guys to come out. It's, uh, it's gonna be a great event. It's our third truck race of the year. Um, so it'd be really cool if you guys could uh, come out and support. I'll be there and uh, maybe you can get a few autographs or a few signed cards before the race. Um, we actually have a, a student discount so it'll be $10 just to come to a truck race which is a really good deal um, and I think it'd be awesome to, to have some of you guys out there. So, um, so like I said, um, like I said about the wrecks, it, hopefully we don't have too many wrecks this year. It's, a, it's definitely different um, when you get wrecked, so we try to avoid that. Um, so this year, I'm racing in the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series. So uh, we raced 23 times this year from, from all over the country. Um, we've raced Atlanta and Daytona so far, and, uh, and we're really looking forward to that, hopefully competing for Rookie of the Year. And I have a great team in Kyle Busch Motorsports around me uh, to support me. So um, we'd love to see you guys out at any racetrack and, and hopefully see, see most of you guys around campus next year. Um, we have a few giveaways that we, we're gonna do uh, later today. If, if uh, a lot of you guys have phones and if we could um, just follow me on Twitter, or something like that, it's at William Byron. Uh, there's gonna be a few free giveaways that, that we're gonna have throughout the day and, and uh, hopefully you guys can tune in for that and we'll be around campus um, promoting, the, promoting the Martinsville race and, and hopefully, um, hopefully you guys come out for that. So, and also, Jerry, I've got a little helmet here uh, to, to give you. All right. So, uh, they, won't let you, they won't let you put it on. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you. Stay up here for a second. I, I've really enjoyed getting to know William over the last couple of years. We went to watch him race in Bristol and um, he should have won. The, the guy bumped him and he came in second, but he's, he finished the top of the point series for, yeah. for tell, him, explain, tell him how you learned how to race. I think that's a... Yeah. <laughs> when, I, when, I, when, I, when I graduated from kindergarten, they couldn't find a hat to fit me, so... <laughs> No, no, but it's got it's got a strap in there that won't let you put it on. Why is that? I, I guess they don't want you getting on the racetrack. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I can I can under, I can understand that. But but tell them how you learned how to race. Most of the most of the racers learn in actual mm. not go karts. What do you call yeah, it? Little well, small most cars. Most of the racers race in go karts when they're six or seven years old. So uh, I actually started when I was 15 and. Uh, race the online so I learned how to race on a basically like a computer simulator so it's kind of new to it and uh, and then after that you went straight from that into the into the what was the first time the car? legend cars the legend cars and, then, and he started winning right away so that proves that online education works yeah it does <laughs> thank you and uh, William's dad and his uh, mom are good friends they that right there they, uh, in fact, his dad was the one who, who put in place for Liberty all the life insurance on my father that made Liberty debt free when my dad passed. And so we've got a long relationship with the Byron family, but he's just, 
impressed us so much with how much he's won and how quickly he's won. And he's a great representative for Liberty. He's been taking online classes and he, um, we're just very proud of him. I know he's going to be successful because I watched the movie Talladega Nights years ago. And, and, I don't, and I don't know if you noticed, but all the successful race car drivers have two first names, Jeff Gordon, Dale Jarrett, Ricky Bobby, and William Byron. So that's, and he, I mean, he's, he's got it made for sure, but we, uh, we're proud of William. We're proud to sponsor him and, and uh, just so glad he could be here and, and uh, so glad he's coming here this fall. I think my 15-year-old daughter's got a little crush on him, too. I must, you know. I should be, oh, whoa, whoa. She'll be 16 this month, so it's not so bad, all right.